I guess what I better start doing is keep my eyes open for Tri-5 Chevy parts. I still got a bunch of parts to order for this thing. I need to... I need to get the front clip off it though. Get the motor and transmission out of it. Get the rear end out of it. Drop the gas tank. See how I'm going to do the fuel pump. Order some bushings for the springs it looks like. And decide what I'm going to do with the floorboards. But this is Mrs. Heavy Chevy's car. It was her grandpa's. And the goal is not to make it perfect, but to make it a good runner. Something she can drive anywhere she wants to. With a 6 liter LS. I think I'm going to put a little cam in it. So it ought to get on down the road. And have some air conditioning and power steering. I've been accumulating parts. I got a bunch of them. So I ought to be able to jump into this thing. And get a bunch done. And uh, figure out I got a bunch more to do. Look at her. It's up on the lift. I think what I'm going to do Saturday. I'm going to put that brake drum back on, bolt the wheel on, just enough so I can, because I don't think I got enough room to carry the front clip out. Somebody coming in here? Who that? It's me. Anyway, she's not going to be able to help me much today. I know y'all are going to miss her, but... Uh, <laughs> She's busy doing whatever she does. With my daughter. And uh, my goal today is get the front clip off this thing. Probably get the engine out. And transmission probably. Maybe not. But I want to work on the suspension. Get the suspension tore apart at least. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow. And I started looking for parts cars. For I found two. This? I found two complete cars. Four doors. Why were you looking for parts cars? Well, you just never know. Like, this bumper here ain't perfect. Mm -hmm. Don't we have... But it ain't bad. We have some spare parts. Not, Not much. No. I got a back bumper. I thought we did have a bumper. So it's a back, back bumper. Okay. So Not the front bumper. Uh oh, somebody scuffed it right there. They are gone. That's all right. We don't mind stuff like that, though. We're not going for a show car. All right, I'm going to shut up now. It, oh, cap. As usual, I can't find all my camera stuff. But I got the wheel back on, and now I'm draining the radiator. And I'm figuring out how to get the rest of the front clip off. I think all I got to do is take out that bolt. And that bolt, which separates the hinge, same thing on the other side. Um, look at this. The alternator is plugged in. Internally regulated alternator, flat plug. I was looking around here at this wire and thinking, what am I going to do with that? And then I look. There's another one. I guess it's been wired in twice. So that's good, I guess. It's hooked into them wire nuts there. It must be, must be legit, huh? What the heck? Anyway, I think I'm just gonna cut them right there because I'm gonna put a new harness in the front of it. I'm gonna put a new harness in the whole thing. This is, she's kind of in rough shape. Kind of in rough shape is what she is. I have been fighting trying to get this front clip, clip loose. I turned every bolt I could find and this one was tight. This fender was tight. Couldn't get it loose and I figured out why. And that's because, best I can tell, whenever Grandpa was putting it together, he had a hard time pulling the fender in. See that bolt right there? That ain't factory, I don't think. Anyways, took me a minute to figure that one out. Look it. It's actually the trim bolt. 
is what's holding it. Ha! <laughs> Must be had a long one. So he just stuck it in there. <laughs> well, well, whatever works. Well, look at that. We've got the uh, front clip off it. The engine's fitting, engine transmission fitting to come out next. Coming out, ain't it? Yeah. We're only making a little pile of transmission fluid. All right, pull it back. I hear her coming. Oh, wow. We done tore it apart. I see this. That's a little bit scary. Hope I remember how to put it together. Oh, you will. All right, he's been cleaning the floor. Um, I guess. And in the sweet by and by, when he gets it done, <laughs> we're going to push that car back in here and uh, put it up on the lift. And then probably we're going to call it a day on that thing. Got something else to do. But I do got a big pile of parts here. What needs to go no on that? Uh, what? Mm. needs to go on that car I haven't showed you all the grandpa stuff I found but look here we got two chrome lug nuts I don't know if they're left hand or right hand I guess we're getting ready to find out So, today we got the car that far apart. Tomorrow we'll finish it up, tearing it apart. I realized, like an idiot, that uh, I ordered new upper and lower control arms, these tubular ones, but when I saw they came, I ripped the box open a little bit and saw that it had control arms in it. I didn't do nothing else. Well, it turns out they only shipped the uppers. Did not ship the lowers. So... I probably, I can't blame the seller if they don't square it away. It was like a month ago they came. I'm going to try anyway. <clears throat> uh, but that's it for tonight. I'm going to ring the bell, as is tradition. <phone rings> Appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go to MrHeavyChevy.com where you can buy a cool shirt like that one. Support your local hack. Or a hat or something like that. I think we even got wristbands and bumper stickers. And got some uh, QJet Equip stickers too. So go check that out. Thank you.